Hello everybody, Jim Ballard here. This video is all about making a pencil holder that looks just like an actual whiskey barrel. Let's get started. I've already turned and prepared a small billet of oak with the tenon and I'll put it in a lathe. Shouldn't go anywhere. First thing I need to do is I need to finish rounding the piece to three and a half inches. Not too far away. Let's bring up the tailstock. Oh, that's better. Looking good. Next step, the length is five and a quarter. Now that we have our overall thickness of the middle, we have the length cut. We need to mark the center. Half a five and a quarter, that's two and a half plus an eighth, two and five eighths. Check it from the other end, boom. Let's get that marked. There's your center. Top and bottom of the barrel, two and three quarters. I need to mark here and I need to mark over here on this end. So I'm going to get those marked and get that out of the way. Now that I have both marked the ends and the center, it's time to cut the curve of the barrel. It's basically uh, just a portion of a sphere by connecting those, those points, but don't lose the center line. Now that we have the general shape of the barrel, top, bottom, middle, and size, we're going to lay out for the bands. And bands are quarter of an inch with a quarter inch space, quarter inch band, and then there is a 9 16 space between the last band, first to last band, and uh, well, between the second and third band, and then another quarter of an inch for that band. That should take care of that. From the other end, just repeat that process. Quarter, 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 nine sixteenths, and then quarter inch band. Take a skew and turn it vertically so we can score the bands. I'm scoring these about a sixteenth of an inch deep. Next step, we're going to sand with 150. get this next step ready and the paint to set faster, which is the silver paint. Because we have to make some brand new bands for this barrel. Here we are. And we're 
we're just going to use some silver. Like I do with my whiskey barrel bottle stoppers. You'll have to uh, check those videos out as well. I've got a full 10 episode breakdown on each one of the steps to come up with how I get this older look. Okay. Get her coated. Essentially just trying to get the paint on here because I'm going to rub it in right here. Final coat. Now this needs to dry. I'll be back in a second. All right. We've got brand new bands. Time to age them. First thing we do, flat black paint. We're just going to dust it. I need a little faster. Just starts to bring and dull it down a little bit. Now let's just put some real black on it. Very random. Now we're gonna start scratching through the black and the silver as well. Very random, difficult to go wrong at this step. Doesn't look like much now, but you'll see how they'll come alive very shortly. Now, with the rag, wherever the paint is not wet, I want to go back to the silver and try to shine that part up. I do this relatively quick while the paint is still wet. Take a small wire brush and just introduce some much lighter scratches. Best to treat the entire area as if the entire barrel was metal. Rather than working one band at a time just scratch across the entire surface. A lot easier. This next step is all about rusting. We have some rust oleum. Show a little closer here. Some rust oleum is just flat brown. This step is where we are going to introduce what looks like rust. And I want it to just sputter. Not a straight up spray, just, just kind of sputter and spatter all about. And here we go. This needs to dry. Let's see what she looks like. Very nice. Now it's time I have the worst time with my glasses. Now it's time to leave the bands behind. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's okay if a little bit of that stays. It's quite all right because I'm fixing to age this. And one of the first steps in the aging process is to get it to look like someone's been rolling it around on the ground. And when it when it rolls around on the ground, it rides in, in this middle right here. So this, this little bit right here is okay. But as you can see, I left these bands behind and they look incredible. They look even better with some finish on them. So let's make it look like it's been rolled around on the ground before they put it up in the Rick house for about eight or nine years. Here we go. I have black spray paint that I've put on the skew just to have something to leave some marks. Here we go. There you go. Next step is staining. To get more information about all these particular steps, please check out my other videos on my 10-part uh, barrel making video series, each one of these little steps. I go, I go into a little bit more detail. Let's put some stain on it. At this point, I like to define the bands. I take a mechanical pencil and I'm going to mark here, here, under, above and below each one of these bands. Helps to, dark, helps to darken the edge and provide a little bit of depth and shadow. That truly defines the bands. Now we need to get our placement for the bung. That's anybody's choice, but I always like it to be within the circled areas of grain. And I'm just drilling a, it could be a 3 16 or even a quarter. In this case, I'm just going 3 16 I'm going to knock out the stave lines. I use a mechanical pencil and I hold it level. I put it the tool rest, always holding it level, and just mark right around for each one of the stave lines. There's about 25, 26 stave lines. I'll knock that out real quick. And again, you should check out my video series on how I made the whiskey barrel bottle stoppers. It goes into great detail each one of these steps breaks it down for you and there's your stave lines okay. now we need to define dark areas where barrels that are stored above it that might be leaking and this barrel itself might be leaking from the bottom so that's just some that's just some darker walnut stain and a Q-tip. Kind of a Bob Ross moment. Some happy little drips. Okay, now this next part is very interesting. We're going to take black spray paint at kind of off on an angle and make this barrel look like it's been in the rick house for a number of years and put the bung over not not dead center it can stand to be a little bit like that they call it clocking from 10 to 2 and i generally put it in a two o'clock position especially now that i've established where the barrel straight above drip sit just like that and we're going to mist it with what will look like years of dirt and dust there we go what's funny is they will sit there for so many years 
and it'll be clean on the bottom. Okay. Now, as you can see, relatively clean on the bottom and dirty there. This is where we can just put a few extra scratches in distress. And with the, the paint wet back in the front, if you'll hit these bands one more time, you'll be able to uh, showcase the bands just a little bit more. And there we are. Now, now that that is complete, and I'm not putting a bung in this because I think it's interesting. The top's going to be open, so just, just leave the bung out. Next step, I'm going to put the finish on it. It's going to take two coats. First coat needs to dry. Let's put the second coat on. Alright, let's see what this thing looks like. The finish is dry, it's time to buff the bands. Take a quick look. I'm going to buff only the bands and try to stay off the wood. Gives a little more contrast with the, uh, the differences in what appears to be metal versus wood. Got a little bit of shine, got a little bit of shine on the bands, makes that metal pop. All right, now that we've got the barrel in this shape, we need to define the lid, and we'll do that right now. take and we're going to reset and begin to hollow this barrel out. Now that we're all set up, I'm going to take a Forstner and bore out the bulk of the interior of this and then set up with a little hollowing jig. So here we go. Following jig and finish boring out the interior and we're getting very close to finishing. Now that we've got the hollower set up let's go inside and thin these walls to match the shape of the outside. Here we go. Got to keep this thing blown out.
top, just down below the surface, uh, it's the it's the dado that that the Coopers put in for the lid. Now we're going to char the inside, but we're going to do it with black paint. All right, now that we've got the interior hollowed out, I've got a groove cut right in here for the barrel lid. It's time to get the inside to look like it's been charred. We're going to do the black paint. Flat black paint. Now we just need to let that dry, and then we'll shoot some finish on it, part it from the lathe, and we're good. And now that we got the inside, look like it's been charred with the spray. We'll take some clear satin finish by deft, and coat the inside. And that should be just fine. Once this dries, I'm going to part it from the lathe. This is the final step. Everything on the interior is finished. I'm going to take and part it off from the tenon and finish the bottom. It's probably far enough. Let's finish it up with a small Japanese saw. Now all we have to do is work on this little nub right here. We're going to do that with a small sander. You know you've got it right when you can put a straight edge and you can see that light coming through. It's only going to ride on that outer perimeter. Now all we need to do is just turn her black. Now we'll let that dry, put a little bit of finish on it, and this piece is complete. Now if this is good and dry, let's put a little finish on it. All right. There it is. Whiskey barrel pencil holder, or bar accessories, whatever you would want to use it for. It would make a great conversation piece and that's all for this video till next time i'm jim ballard see ya